The Central Corridor stakeholders said on this Sunday in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, their 14th stack on evaluation meeting. Participants praised the Executive Secretariat for its fruitful efforts in enhancing business in member states during the time when COVID-19 pandemic hindered transborder movements. Fabien Nionizigi has the story. The 14th meeting of the consultative committee among Central Corridor stakeholders has been held in Tanzania. It is an ordinary meeting which is scheduled each year, but this one has been held after two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the Central Corridor has continued to do its works and has forecast to modernize the transport infrastructures and this will generate various advantages on a trade sector in the region as it is indicated by Diodone Dukundane Executive Secretary of Transport Facilitation Agency in the Central Corridor. Diodone Dukundane has indicated that the great effort has been oriented in the transport investments like the construction of ports, construction of roads and others and this is an eloquent sign of trade development as added Diodone Dukundane. Diodone Dukundane has reaffirmed that the Secretariat will do everything to implement the strategic plan of five years and he remains optimistic that Central Corridor will be the best one in the whole African continent. That meeting was held whereas the mandate of Executive Secretary will be expired. Different stakeholders have fairly appreciated the achievements of the Secretariat and its contribution for the preparation of the strategic plan and have granted him a title as an ambassador of Central Corridor. During that meeting held in Dar es Salaam was also an occasion to elect a new Estacom committee. The Tanzanian Benjamin Bembe has been elected as a president whereas Burundian Philip Ndikumana was elected as a vice president. The participants of that meeting have also visited Dar es Salaam port and railway in construction.